And the Senate Homeland Security Chair says recently released emails from former National Security Advisor Susan Rice. It raises more questions over the so-called Obamagate scandal. Here's One America's John Hines. You mentioned transition. Uh, of course, Susan Rice was uh, at the point of transition of the administrations. She was uh, having that curious memo, and I think you asked for it to be disclosed. It has been disclosed. Could you uh, talk to us about what you find maybe significant if you had a, have had a chance to look at that information? Well, again, first of all, as you described it, that, that email is just odd. And the fact that they, they really uh, plead innocence, or she pleads innocence three times, you know, we do it by the book. Why does she feel the need to claim, proclaim her innocence to an email to herself as she's leaving office? Uh, we've also found out apparently that uh, that wasn't something she wrote on her own. Apparently somebody in the, in the Obama White House Counsel's Office came and asked her to write that email. Why? Again, there, there's so many, so many questions that surround that. Uh, when I first saw the, the uh, declassified version of that full email, literally my first thought was, why in the world was this classified? And it's a point I've been asking it's a, ever since I really got here, is we overclassify so much material. And when you finally do see what's behind the, the, the redactions, you know, so often you find out that this had nothing to do with national security. I mean, I understand why an individual or an organization wouldn't want this made public because it's quite embarrassing or possibly incriminating. And so, you know, from my standpoint, as an investigator, it's incredibly frustrating how difficult it is to get information, uh, to get things declassified that probably never should have been classified in the first place. Uh, mentioning classifications, do you think that Christopher Wray has been helpful in your investigation? Has he aided your committee, provided you maybe information that you've needed or requested? Do you think he's the appropriate person to be leading the FBI at this time, sir? Uh, he's been completely unhelpful. I'm very disappointed in Director Wray. What we needed with the new director is to somebody to go in there, find out what had happened, uh, clean house. Now, there's certainly been a certain level of, of house cleaning, but in that process, we really did not determine what all happened. Now, Inspector Horowitz's uh, uh, FISA report and his report on the mid-year exam was, was quite illuminating, but also limited in scope. It's simply unacceptable that the American people have had to wait now three years before we're, we're finally beginning to get some of this information. Uh, part of that uh, breaking the information logjam, though, really started with my staff uh, going down into the secure area of, of the Senate and going through the, the, the FISA IG report with a fine-tooth comb. They're the ones that discovered those four footnotes that have been redacted that completely refute what is stated in the, the main FISA report, that the FBI had no knowledge of any Russian disinformation uh, associated with the, the uh, Steele dossier. In fact, they had a number of pieces of information that the Russian intelligence services is trying to infiltrate the steel organization. Uh, this dates back to as, as early as October 16th, they realized that there were elements of the steel dossier that probably were Russian disinformation. So now we know that the extent that Russian tried to interfere in our election, uh, we know that the inf disinformation was inserted into the steel dossier, bought and paid for by cutouts for Hillary Clinton campaign. It's quite the shocking turnaround in terms of you know, what, what Russian interference uh, occurred and to, to whose advantage or disadvantage. Senator Ron Johnson, chairman of the Senate Homeland Security Committee, thank you for talking to us on One American News. Stay healthy. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.